Hey, Bob, do you want to know how much money I make on ad revenue? I think, I think he wants to know. Oh, I think you guys want to know how much money a small YouTuber can make, like myself, 2,000 subscribers, on YouTube through ad revenue. A lot of people say, or think rather, you know, oh, maybe you make like $100 a month, $50 a month, $1,000 a month. Well, in this video, we're gonna be talking about exactly how much money I make day by day. We're gonna be breaking it down. I'm gonna be hopping into my computer, looking at my analytics for you guys. I'm gonna be completely 100% transparent with you. But before we do get into that, how are you going to be qualified or rather how can you get qualified to start making money through YouTube, through Google, AdSense, let's talk about that. So first and foremost guys, you obviously need a YouTube channel to make money through ad revenue, right? You can pick a specific niche like the fitness niche, the health niche for example, maybe you're into sewing, maybe you're into Legos, right? Maybe you're into something like reviewing books like Think and Grow Rich or maybe the investing, you know, the, the intelligent investor. Maybe you want to do a book review channel. That's what you need to figure out first. What are you going to be talking about in your YouTube channel? And really, the niche you pick determines how much money you can potentially make on YouTube. So my niche, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this for people that are subscribed to the channel, but if this reaches my non-audience, I make videos about investing, stock market, right, trading, you know, investing and just finance, personal finance in general. And this niche tends to have a higher CPM than most niches. And what is a CPM, guys? That is the cost per 1,000 views that I get paid from, you know, ads and revenue, right? How much money am I getting paid through 1,000 views, 1,000 people watching the channel? That's what CPM is. For example, you know, fitness, fitness niches or these vloggers, right? You see these vloggers like Logan Paul, Jake Paul, they get tons of views and you may think, oh, wow, they probably make a ton of money on ads. And the truth is, guys, their CPM is super low. It's probably around $1, maybe $2 per thousand views because their audience, the people that watch those videos, they're kind of hard to advertise to, right? They're pretty difficult because this one person could like sports basketball. This other person might not like sports at all, right? It's very difficult to advertise to those different people because they have a bunch of different interests because their vlogging channel is not really based on one story certain topic like a niche like personal finance stocks investing like my personal channel is but then other niches like I'm sure a lot of you guys already know like the entrepreneurship niche the investing niche stocks trading they have a much higher CPM because it's easier to really target these people and advertise to them which means you make more money or me rather I make more money the youtubers the people that make videos in that niche make more money per thousand views compared to the other people like the vloggers that make one to two dollars. So for example, my CPM right now, I believe is like 18 to 20 dollars. And again, we're going to be hopping into my ad revenue and my revenue analytics here in a couple of minutes. But that just goes to show guys how different it is with each single niche in the YouTube game. I remember when I first started YouTube, I thought everybody made the same amount of money, right? This was a couple years back. Honestly, before I even started this channel, that is what I thought, right? But I was proven wrong because a person like me with 2,000 subscribers, you might think, oh, this guy makes no money on YouTube whatsoever. But it's honestly a pretty solid chunk of change for the amount of people subscribed here and for the number of views that I get. So with that in place, guys, you understand now what CPM is and that it varies through whatever niche, whatever type of channel you have. And obviously, like I said, you need a channel to start out in this YouTube 
YouTube game. So once you have a channel, once you've decided on a niche, now you need two requirements before you can actually start making money on YouTube. That first requirement is the mighty old 1,000 subscribers. You need 1,000 subscribers before you can monetize a YouTube channel. And you also need 4,000 hours of watch time in the past 12 months, really in the past trailing 12 months of your YouTube channel's existence. So let's say you have a viral video, it has 4,000 hours, that requirement's done, right? Now you have to work on your subscribers. For me personally, guys, it took me about a little over a year, a year of time to get 1,000 subscribers and about the same amount of time to get the 4,000 hours watch time. YouTube, guys, it's a, it's, it's, it's a grind. It really is a grind. But if you're truly passionate about what you're talking about, it shouldn't be that difficult to really pump out the content and take your time with it to build the audience because I'm truly passionate about investing and trading as I know a lot of you guys already know by now. And that's why it wasn't too difficult for me to pump out the content to get to that 1,000 subscriber threshold and that 4,000 hour threshold as well. So that's really it, guys. You just need a niche. You have to understand what you want to talk about, really, if it's something you're passionate about, that is what you should talk about on the YouTube channel because it won't seem like work because at the beginning, guys, you're going to be like, why am I even doing this? I'm getting 10 video views. I'm getting one subscriber a day. This is not even worth it. But the whole thing about YouTube, guys, is that it's a compounding effect. Once you start to get a subscriber, you get the next subscriber. They start viewing your videos. You get more video views, more subscribers. You get in the recommended section and it's just like a snowball right snowball 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 and then all of a sudden wow you hit 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time so that is what you need guys and let's hop right into my computer right now and talk about how much money I make on YouTube alrighty guys so here we are in my computer in my YouTube dashboard. So let's go over, you know, the typical views that I get, you know, on every single video that I upload here on YouTube. So we can see, you know, my views range from about, you know, sometimes 500 views, sometimes 600 views, sometimes I get lower views. These are the videos that I upload on the weekend. Typically, those do get lower views because people don't really, you know, from my, you know, experience here on YouTube, people don't really watch too many videos on the weekend especially ones you know dealing with you know stocks finance investing which is 100% okay and those typically get lower views right you know the ones i upload through the week they can gain you know between 5 600 views sometimes a thousand views if i do end up you know making you know the right title the right thumbnail things like that but we can see you know clearly Ranging from 400, 500, sometimes up to a thousand views, six, seven hundred views here per video, you know, on the YouTube channel. And just to show you guys that compounding effect that I'm talking about, let's hop back here to a couple videos I made months ago, a couple months ago, five, six months ago, so I can really show you guys what I'm talking about here and the difference in views. So take a look here, guys. Back in September, literally the beginning, really, you know, back in more towards the middle of 2018, I was making, or rather I was seeing 100 views to 200 views per video, you know, on my channel. Sometimes we would get a pop-up to 300 views. That would be very good for me back then. This one popped up to about 600 views. That was really good. But you guys can see what I'm talking about here with the compound effect, right? These views, or these videos rather, they didn't get much views, right? They didn't get much views, but granted at this time, I had about 500, 600, and, or 700 subscribers, something like that. So these views were still pretty good based on how many subscribers I got. But then as the subscribers got, or rather as how many subscribers I had, but as the subscribers got more and more, as more people subscribed to the channel, 
If we hop in here, let's see what I was doing in the, you know, the month of November, December. You can see if my computer wants to load, you know, how many views I got a couple of months later. We popped up to about 300 views, 400 views, 500 views. I didn't really get any videos with 100 views a couple of months later, which is just showing you guys again the compounding effect as you build that audience. More people are going to watch the videos. We can see here this is the only one in the 100 views range that I personally got so this is just a testament of what I'm talking about in this video and of course if we just go back to today you know I'm getting within five six seven hundred a thousand views per video and I'm sure in the next couple of months here the next two three months I'm gonna be getting a thousand views every single video and we can see here guys this dollar sign means that the video is monetized and you can place ads throughout the video wherever you want right typically I make market update videos that are within you know 25 minutes to 30 minutes and I don't want to spam you guys with ads I don't want to fill the video with ads every two minutes but I do have three ads in the middle of the video so this just gives you an understanding of where I place my ads very simple right you can pick what type of ads you want overlay ads sponsored cards skippical uh skip skippable video ads you can place and really wherever you want right that's the whole entire idea and this is how you make money on YouTube. Obviously, placing the ads. The more ads you place, let's say I, I wanted to make more money on YouTube, but you guys would get pissed off at me. I can do something like this, right? I can flood this video with ads, but that's something that I'm obviously not going to do because I respect you guys. I know people get pissed off when there's a ton of, uh, you know, video ads, but I still want to put, you know, a comfortable amount in there and I haven't had anybody complain, which is something good. And, uh, this is just the comfortable range for me about three ads in the middle of the videos. And of course you just have to find what works for you, depending on how long your videos are. And I, and I upload videos that are five, 10 minutes sometimes. And I only, have one ad in the middle of those and if you have a video that's less than 10 minutes you actually can't place an ad in the middle of the video and really that's just because I guess the video is too short I really don't know you know the entire reason behind that but now what you guys have been waiting for how much money do I make on YouTube let's go drum roll please <laughs> analytics let's see how I've been doing. So this is it guys. These are my analytics over the past 28 days here on the YouTube channel. So 147,000 minutes viewed, 19,653 views, and I've made a whopping $400 in these past 28 days off of my ad revenue with an average watch time, average view duration of about 7 minutes and 31 seconds. So to give you guys an understanding of how many views I actually get per day, we can also hop here to my real time before I hop into the revenue more closely. So over the past 48 hours, typically guys, I get about 2,000 views, really about 1,000 views per day 1000 views per day is what I'm typically doing right now and of course as I continue to gain more subscribers as my channel scales that's obviously going to scale as well so coming back here to the overview let's see our watch time very quickly for the lifetime of the channel you're going to see it's looking like a beautiful uptrending stock right over the lifetime you can see this is the compounding effect again let's take a look it's going to look like a stock that has soared right soared right we see over the you know the beginning of my channel here it wasn't getting many minutes at all but then we skyrocketed over the past couple of months really in the beginning really in the beginning of September October this is when I started to see some real growth in the channel and back over here to the overview you guys so I can show you guys exactly what I've been making in terms of my lifetime revenue we can see here 928 dollars and if we break this down I can show you guys on a uh, closer basis and we can see exactly where I ended up getting monetized we got we got monetized I got monetized on the 20th of uh, December and like I said earlier this video 
I got, it took me about a year to get that 4,000 hours and the 1,000 subs, which will happen in about uh, November, like I said, of 2018. And it took about a month for my channel to get approved because once you hit that threshold, you don't automatically get to place ads. It takes a while for your channel to actually get approved for the Google AdSense program. And that's exactly where I ended up waiting. And this is when I got approved on the 20th of December. So the first day of monetization, guys, I made a whopping six bucks. The next day, about nine dollars. The next day, about seven dollars. And it went down to four dollars, you know, eight dollars. So this first, you know, this first week, two weeks of monetization in December, I made about, you know, four, two, eight, four to nine dollars per day. And then we can see in January, this is when things started to pick up, right? I went from about four to nine dollars per day to about ten dollars, eight to ten dollars per day. We can see here a low day of six dollars, you know, a high day of fifteen dollars, six dollars, seventeen dollars the next day. I believe I had a video that was doing well right here or something like that. And we can see, you know, the YouTube ad revenue isn't the most consistent source of income, right? And I really wouldn't advise anybody out there to rely on this income as their sole income source, right? This is just a side income for me, an extra source of income every month coming in. And I'm really, really grateful for this source of income, right? Very grateful for it. So we can see $17 the next day, it, it you know, it went half. Actually, no, that was not the next day. The next day it went to 14, then 12, then $9. And typically over the weekend is when I make the least amount of money, right? Because you saw the views over the weekend, the videos I upload over the weekend, Weekend. They don't get as many views as the ones I upload throughout the week. And that is really due to people not really watching finance, investing, stock market videos as much over the weekend as they would throughout the week. And then we can see it started to scale pretty nicely, you know, heading into the month of uh, February, where really my low days were in the eight to nine range. And I was really averaging on my good days 12 to 15 to 20 dollars of revenue and this is probably over the weekend we dipped down to about 10 11 dollars we popped up to 15 dollars down to about eight dollars here that was a bad day another bad day about 11 days ago nine dollars well, not really a bad day but you guys understand what i mean right this is looking like an uptrending stock. It's continuing to compound. It's continuing to push up. And yesterday, guys, we can see I almost had my first $20 day on YouTube. So this is really what it is looking like, guys, right? You know, you start out, you're not making as much money, but as the weeks and the months go on, your audience grows, your, you know, your subscribers grow, your views grow, your analytics or rather your revenue is going to grow with that. And, you know, Soon, I'm probably going to be making $30 a day, $25 a day over this next month and a half, two months. And then, you know, in three months, who knows, guys, if the channel continues to do well, you know, I could be doing $30 a day, $40 a day. And really, my goal is to be making $100 per day through YouTube ad revenue alone. That's my ultimate goal right now. And I hopefully, hopefully, guys, I can hit that here within the next year, you know, on YouTube. That is 100% my goal as of right now. So let's go over here to the ad rates very quickly so I can show you guys exactly what my CPM is so I'm not really BSing you, right? Because I told you it was around $18 to $20. I actually haven't checked it here in the past couple of days. This is really the live reaction. And we can see the CPM right now. I believe this is the figure, right? Yeah, it's about $18 for the cost per thousand views. And if we look down here at these specific videos, you know, it varies for every single video, right? My Thinkorswim scanner setup video, which has really been my best video i've made about 200 dollars on this video and it has 27 dollars worth of cpm let's find a lower cpm video right now just for the example here so 12 dollars is a top three online savings account video this video also did well i think it has like 2,000 views or something like that but i'm only making 12 dollars per every thousand views 
on this video. So you guys kind of get the understanding or the idea here rather. It varies for every video. And if I were to make a video, you know, about fitness or something like that, I would probably make pennies on the dollar for that specific video. And the CPM rate, again, guys, $18 is pretty high for, you know, the whole realm of YouTube here. And that's really, again, like I said earlier in the video, because Finance, um, you know, investing, trading, that's a niche that's easier and really more targeted to advertise to than some of these other niches. So that's really it for today's video, guys. You know, I've nearly made about a thousand dollars on YouTube. We're growing every single uh, week and month, and I'm very appreciative and grateful for all of you guys that are out there watching these videos, subscribing, you know, sticking through those ads. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you guys did enjoy this transparency. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what are your thoughts about this, right? Is this higher than you expected? Did you expect that I'd be making less money than this? I would love to know what you guys think, and if you guys did enjoy this video and you want me to update you guys periodically on my income through YouTube, I'd be happy to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a great one. Peace out.